Hi everybody, it's Christina. It's been a long time since I've done a weight loss journey video and I am so sorry. I just keep forgetting to do them. Then I had surgery and I mean, I wasn't watching the kids for like a month so I could have done them then but I forgot. And now I have been bad. I haven't done my exercises for like two months and I want to start doing them again. I'm not going to be able to do anything with feet wise because I'm still, I had bunion surgery, so, and I mean, I can wear shoes for like a couple hours a day, but I can't do like um, heel lifts or anything like that, and so I can do the upper part though, so I want to start doing that, but I have been losing weight, I mean. I don't know how, but I can't eat much, you know, and I'm trying to eat like I'm supposed to, but I know I'm not. I'm not eating enough. I don't eat enough. I don't eat enough to keep a bird alive. And I try, but I get full so fast. Like this morning, I made myself uh, two fried eggs, one piece of sausage, and uh, one piece of toast. I think I ate one egg a bite of the other egg. Um, I may have ate the sausage. It was a sausage, round sausage. And I ate half of my toast. And I was full. I couldn't eat nothing else. And um, it's now 4.01. And I, I ate this at like 11.30. I didn't get, I didn't wake up till like 10.30. Because I was down visiting my bonus son Hunter last night. and. I didn't come home till like five this morning, but he said I was asleep half the time down there in his recliner. But I was tired. I watched the youngins yesterday, so I was up at four o'clock in the morning and I was going until um, uh, seven o'clock yesterday evening. So I was tired. I don't have to watch them again until Friday. So I get a few days off. Um, but yes, I want to tell you, I am down from, I had my surgery April 10th. I was 321 about a week before I had surgery or the week of surgery. Um, I am now down to 251 people. I cannot believe it. I have not been down to almost two in the 240s in over 20 years. Well, before my son was born, and my son's gonna be 28 this year, this month. This is September. He's gonna be 28, September 26th. And I have not been down in the 250s since he was probably a year old. So like 27 years it's been since I've been down in the 250s. And it's just getting exciting. I just cannot believe this. Um, so, since 2020, when I went in the hospital with COVID, I was 420 pounds. I am down 169 pounds since 2020. And I am down 70 pounds since my surgery in April. I go back to see my bariatric surgeon, October 8th, I think it's, no, the end of October, like October 26th, something like that. I go see the nutritionist October 8th. And I just, I, I, I wanted to be down in the 250, I want to be down to 250 when I saw him last, next, because when I seen him last, I think I weighed um, 275 or something like that. So I wanted to be down to two, to 250 by the time I see him again. And I'm probably gonna be lower than 250 because I'm 251 now. And I just cannot believe this, this is crazy. And I told my son, this is without doing my exercises. So I can't, wait to see how fast I lose it. I know I'm gonna lose it fast when I start doing my exercises again, which I'm going to uh, probably do that tonight or tomorrow. 
I would like to ride my exercise bike, but I can't because of my foot. So I can do my Donovan Green exercises. I just won't be able to do the feet part of it. You know, the leg, the heel raises and stuff. But I mean, look at that, look at that, look at that skin. I've never had skin hang right here, never. And look at this, look, isn't that crazy? Look at this, does anybody ever have an extra, I always called it my extra boob, because it's a little hump. And then right down here, I got some extra fat. And I always have to tuck it under my bra. <laughs> I don't, I have a little one over here, but not as bad. And this, it's, it's just crazy. My stomach is, I do have a rash under my stomach right now on the left side. Because my left side hangs worse than the right side. Has anybody else has ever had that problem where one side hangs worse than the other? But I have taken pictures of it. Because as you guys know, the doctors say if you have any type of rash or anything that causes you pain or discomfort, take pictures because it'll be easy, easier to get the skin removal surgery from your insurance. And I have like Aetna and I have uh, Medicaid, Medicare. So hopefully, I'm hoping they do this too. I mean, some people say insurance is well, mainly just do the stomach, but I, I hope they do this too, because this is very self-conscious. I'm very self-conscious about this, and I know it's going to be a little while. I mean, it's it's not real thin yet, but this this just amazes me. I just can't believe I've never had skin hang down on my lower part of my arm, and my legs, my calves. They're flabby. I can't really show you because I got my brace on and my boot on, but it's crazy. And look at this. I always I call that my um, rooster, rooster gobbler, gobbler thingy. My mom had one because when um, she got had to go on dialysis and stuff, and when she had leukemia, she lost a lot of weight. She went from like 215, and <clears throat> right before she passed away. She was down to 110 pounds, I think, or 115. Yeah, she was little. I mean, she didn't die from leukemia. She died from a heart attack. But I think the dialysis, it wore her out all the time. Whenever she would, she would be in dialysis for like four hours, three days a week, and it just wore her out. She would come home, I would pick her up, or my sister would pick her up. She would have us either go through Wendy's and she would get a coffee and uh, sometimes a sandwich or sometimes she'd have us run down to the store and go back to the deli. And she loved wings, chicken wings. She'd have us go get her like three fried chicken wings from the deli, which I told her, I said, why do you like wings for? There's no meat on wings. And she said, yes, there is. You just have to get it off. But me, myself, I like legs and thighs. They're my favorite. But anyways, yeah, so, uh, yeah, if, if you like me and you like my uh, weight loss journey, I will try to get on here more. I am so sorry. I haven't been on here very off long, much. But I will try to get on here. I will try at least once every two weeks. I'll try, I'll let you guys know how the exercise is going, how the weight loss is going. Oh, I am in a size, I can wear a size 20 jeans, people, 20. It's crazy. I've been going crazy at volunteers and I know I shouldn't. And I told my sister, because my sister says, you need to quit buying uh, clothes. I know, but you know, it's hard when all these years, I've never, ever been able to buy me, pull my sock up again. I've never been able to buy clothes at Volunteers because they never had any of my size. Now I can find jeans, Capri jeans. I just bought three pairs of blue jeans. I bought a tan pair, 
I think a red pair and I think a blue, just blue jeans at Volunteers the other day. They were like $3.99, $4.99 each. And they look brand new. So I had to buy them. I had to. And I bought some shirts too, which I know I don't need no more shirts. I had to buy more hangers because I didn't have enough hangers to hang my clothes on because I've got so many clothes now. It's crazy. So I told my sister, I said, you're right. I said, I'm gonna lay off buying the clothes for a while because I, I wanna lose some more weight. But I am, I did buy some capris and some jeans at Walmart, Lee's. And yeah, the jeans, they're the stretch material. They have buttons and zipper, but it's the kind that I think a lot of the jeans are stretchy now, you know, they give you a little bit more room. And it, it's just crazy. I mean, I look, I mean, I'm not being conceited, but I look so little in jeans now. I've not been this little in years, over 20 years. And I've actually never, I don't ever remember being this little. I mean, maybe I was, I just don't remember it. It's just crazy, people. But um, I'm going to make spaghetti tonight. I'm going to start at about 5 o'clock. It's 4.11 now. So I'm gonna make spaghetti. Um, and like I said, um, if you like me, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me, and I will try to get on here at least once every two weeks with my weight loss journey, let you guys know how it's going. Um, this isn't a long video, but maybe the next video, I'll show you guys some of my clothes I bought. I've got a whole bunch of clothes I'm trying to sell on Marketplace and stuff that are like 5X's. I've got a whole bunch of uh, summer tops that are 6X's that I'm trying to sell. But, you know, summer's almost over with, so hopefully next summer um, we have our garage sale. I can sell it in the garage sale. And... Um, I even got a crap load of bras that I'm selling. Crazy, huh? And some of them I got from Timu. Some of them are from Volunteers, Goodwill. I mean, I've got so many bras that I have no room in my drawer. And so I'm like, when I went to Volunteers the other day, I went started to go look at the bras and I said, no, Chris, you don't need no more bras. You have enough. The one I'm wearing now is from Timu. Let me show you, put you down. And I got, I ordered like, I got like four more of these. And they're, they hold you up so good. Look at that. They hold you up so good. It is just crazy how it holds you up. But, um, so like I said, this video, it's only gonna be about 14 minutes long or so. If you like me, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will keep y'all informed. Bye.